What celebrity do you think is evil in their soul? Lost Prophet singer Ian Watkins. One of the worst stories I've ever heard. Michelle Duggar, her son Josh, and her husband Jim Bob. Jimmy Savile is disgusting. Harvey Weinstein. Suj Knight. He oozes evil. I'm convinced he's behind Biggie's death. Probably Tupac too. R. Kelly. Dan Schneider. Steven Seagal. He is very creepy, and 101 of those guys who goes to SE Asia for sex trafficking and is unusually close and cozy with a lot of dictators, and makes a lot of films in foreign countries which is probably for money laundering purposes. On top of that, he has numerous allegations of rape and sexual assault. He is most definitely evil. Any celebrity that took Jeffrey Epstein's Lolita expresses. Everyone in the Sackler family. They created Oxycontin and the global opioid epidemic for pure profit, not caring about the nukes they were dropping on families or the lives they destroyed. Their only concern for getting people addicted to Oxy was that it would guarantee repeat sales. Kenneth Copeland Joel Osteen Jared Leto is gonna have a soul-crushing tell-all about his sex cult island. Andy Dick has done everything from indirectly causing Phil Hartman's death to grooming children. He's been sexually assaulting people both publicly and privately for decades. Yeah you read that right decades. And he hasn't been held accountable for his actions once. Any other celebrity would have been in prison by now if they had done the same shit he has. He only just recently got put on the sex offender registry and the sad part is knowing he won't learn damn a thing from it. Nancy Grace. Evil, vile human being who has ruined countless lives with her false narratives, even leading to a suicide. There is nothing redeeming about this woman. Andy Dick. O.J. Simpson. I would say Bill Cosby. He has been convicted of multiple sexual assault charges and has been accused of drugging and assaulting numerous women over the years, even if he is innocent of some of the charges. His behavior and attitude towards the victims and the public have been callous and manipulative. Kenneth Copeland Ezra Miller As the ancient folk wisdom goes the devil works hard, but Chris Jenner works harder. Even before his bizarre political campaign, Dr. Ounce was a snake oil salesman who preyed on people with body image issues. His show was like a long infomercial about miracle cure diet pills and questionably effective medical advice. Taking advantage of people's insecurities for a quick buck make you a terrible person, I don't care if you went to medical school. This isn't even touching on all the things Ounce did during 2020 that definitely got people sick. Chris Brown Kayla Chris Brown how we haven't cancelled this man yet we've cancelled countless other celebrities is baffling. No solid evidence against him but James Franco makes me uneasy. Enough women have spoken out about him and Seth Rogen cutting ties with him doesn't help his case. Jared Leto Jared Leto Man gives off the worst vibes ever, and what he does doesn't really help his image either. Dr. Phil well everyone that was okay with knowing what Epstein and Weinstein were doing and did nothing about it. Drake, and nobody talks about it. Suge Knight. The guy has always been a murderous thug, and I'm glad they are going to put his ass away for good. Wendy Williams, if she was the one that was angry that a murdered TikToker had more followers than she did. Meta Boy Zuckerberg. I don't know if evil is the appropriate word, but I think the Kardash clan are unabashedly terrible people in terms of their ethics and negative impact on society. They have made the world a worse place, undoubtedly and they don't care, filthy, shyesty, manipulative family. Ah, Kelly. Bill Cosby. Ruined. WTF? Tom Cruise gives me an uneasy feeling. Bezos. Imelda Marcos. 
any Kardashian or Jenner. The Paul Brothers. Jared Leto with his cult. I hate Gwyneth Paltrow, don't think she's evil, but my god the pretentiousness. Ellen DeGeneres. When all is said and done, I'll be shocked if Stephen Miller hasn't murdered someone. Joel Osteen. That guy sends demon wearing human skin vibes. Gary Glitter. Jared Fogel. Anyone who abuses children is automatically a monster in my opinion and the way this creep was so calm and calculated with how he planned on abusing so many children is absolutely vile. I can't even eat at Subway without thinking of that disgusting excuse for a human being. I know it wasn't Subway's fault, they didn't know he was a pedophile at the time, but I still can't think of Subway without seeing that disgusting, creepy smile that guy made in the commercials in my head. Literally, the human embodiment of shit. Jerry Falwell Jr. Chris Jenner Roman Polanski Came here to see how many people said Jared Leto. Travis Scott Something about the way he never looks up makes me uneasy. Not to mention his pushing people to riot at his shows when emergency services are trying to get in. Oprah, she's definitely got some skeletons in her closet. Jake Paul Jada Pinkett Smith Feels like the public distaste for her died off just like every trend, but what a piece of work she is. Evil in their soul is too far, but there's something not right to me about Andy Cohen. I laugh at a lot of his humor and I agree with a lot of his politics. But I feel like it's a mask. Like, something about it feels like there's a layer where he's calculated what he should say over what he actually thinks. And then he goes back to his strange lair and concocts plans to send middle-aged women absolutely nuts with hierarchies, and would step on anyone's neck for a career bump. James Corden. A person that untalented, unfunny, and fake has to have sacrificed some children to Satan or something. Also, he's the worst. Did I mention that? Jeff Bezos. Diddy. Chris Brown. Oprah. R. Kelly. All the Kardashians, in the fact they very clearly do not have souls don't know if they sold them to the devil or what. Seriously, look in their eyes there's absolutely nothing there, no light, no nothing. It's honestly really creepy. I'm a paramedic and I pronounce dozens of people dead, many of which I watch die and could see the light leave their eyes it's a real thing by the way, hard to describe, but you can always tell when the person is gone. And all those Kardashians, they really aren't there there's nothing behind those eyes. Kevin Spacey Ellen Woody Allen Bletch Chris Brown Steven Seagal David Koch Robert Wagner Doug Ford, Ontario Premier Don King, the boxing promoter. Mike Tyson said, he did more bad to black fighters than any white promoter ever in the history of boxing. Gwyneth Paltrow. That bitch knows her products are useless without scientific base and still promotes them. Chris Brown. Francis Ford Coppola kept giving Victor Sulva, a convicted child molester, work in Hollywood so at the very least he allowed evil to continue. Jeff Bezos for sure. Ryan from Ryan's World. 